Greetings, friends. It's GCK Daily, and you are welcome to this edition. We are always excited to bring you God's Word. I guess you've not heard this before. Be bold as a badger. I know what you were thinking. You thought it was bold as a lion. Well, yes. You see, the honey badger is a small, ferocious animal that commands a high level of respect in the animal kingdom because they are able to take on much larger animals like snakes, jackals, and even the lion. Today, Pastor teaches on boldness as a Christian looking at the life of Daniel. Here's Pastor Kenway. This monarch of a king, the one that says, I am and no one else. The one that says, nobody can talk to him and nobody could approach him and nobody could advise him. He was all in all. He was running a one hero, one monarch, one emperor show in the whole of Babylon. And now, as the prophecy had said, that the word will come from heaven, from the watchers in heaven, cut down the tree. Eventually, he caught Daniel and said, Daniel, magicians and astrologers and soothsayers, they are not able to interpret this to me. Can you give me the interpretation of this? Look at Daniel chapter 4, verse 19. In Daniel chapter 4, verse 19, we're told about Daniel. Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, we're told he was astonished for one hour, and his thoughts troubled him. And the king spake and said, Belteshazzar, that's Daniel, let not the dream or the interpretation thereof trouble thee. Belteshazzar answered, Daniel answered and said, My lord, the dream be to them that hate thee and the interpretation thereof to thine enemies. He now interpreted, he said, the king, you are the tree. The watchers from heaven, they're the angels of God in heaven. It's been decided that because of your pride, because of your haughtiness, because of your incorrigibility, you've seen a lot, you've heard a lot, you will not say you're totally ignorant to the existence and the eternality of the God of heaven, and yet you remain unchanged, you remain untouched, you remain untransformed, you remain unconverted. The time has come that the voice will come from heaven. You'll be caught down. You'll be driven away from man and from your kingdom. You will eat grass like animal. What a great man Daniel was. Bold, sympathetic though. Bold, courageous, compassionate though, and yet he told the truth. He didn't allow the face of the king, the power of the king, and the evil that Nebuchadnezzar could do. He didn't allow that to make him misinterpret the word for Nebuchadnezzar. Are you like that? When you come to the congregation, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Are you able to say that when you see those great personalities there? And when you see all those people that terrify and threaten, are you able to say all the nations that forget God, he will cast into hell forever and ever? Are you able to say that? Are you able to say that they that walk in pride, they're going to be humiliated and abased? Daniel had given us a good picture of a righteous, faithful, loyal preacher that whoever 
is there in the congregation in your congregation or not you will say the truth and so he said thou art the man and then he said I counsel you look at verse 27 in Daniel chapter 4 verse 27 it says wherefore o king let my counsel be acceptable unto thee and break off thy sins he was saying you are a sinner Nebuchadnezzar and the sins have a kind of a stick stuck to you that you are carrying about a load of sin break it off turn around let there be a change and a transformation break off thy sins can you tell the cash carriers that can you tell the powers that be that can you tell those notorious popular people that can you tell them that the soul that sinneth it shall die and there's only one way for you to be free from the judgment that is sure to come break up thy sins by righteousness and thine iniquities by showing mercy to the poor what was he saying he said Nebuchadnezzar we know you you are hard you're harsh you're cruel you're wicked and if you're going to have a change from the proclamation and sentence of heaven all these iniquities not regarding anybody as anyone all that you must repent of and he says you will take away your iniquity by showing mercy to the poor it may be if it may be the lengthening of thy tranquility that is of thy peace if it will be the lengthening of your peace of mind a peace of heart a peace in life a peace in your family and you're able to follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord well, friends this is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. The truth is audacious and can liberate the people it concerns if only we can be bold enough to speak it. People are hardly bold to confront the truth because they are afraid to lose source and sufficiency. Knowing and having God as our sufficiency helps us speak the truth always. Jesus gives us grace and strength to speak the truth always and without fail. For you tonight whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved praise the Lord you are saved tonight it's bowed and eyes closed you've seen the conquering power of Christ you have seen the saving power of Christ you have seen the dominion of Christ, the everlasting kingdom of Christ. The Lord is now inviting you so that the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of defilement, the kingdom of depravity, the kingdom of disease, the kingdom of demons, the kingdom of the old serpent, the kingdom of death will not have authority over your life anymore. That's why you are coming in connection with Christ right now. You want to give your life to Christ, to be your savior and to be your Lord tonight. Where, where are you? Raise up your hand there and come out of the authority of the kingdom of darkness raise up your hand god bless you there god bless you there you, you are raising up your hand you can stand up now just stand up stand up stand up for jesus like a soldier of the cross like you now understand he is my savior he is my lord like you understand that he is the power that destroys every other power on earth against your life and he forgives you 
and he saves you and he turns your life around raise up that hand and stand up and say lord here i am i come so that i will not be under the rule of the kingdom of darkness kingdom of disease kingdom of depravity kingdom of defilement and kingdom of demons or kingdom of death now i come in connection with christ i accept him as my savior i accept him as my lord raise up the hand and stand up and say lord i come out of all those kingdoms i come into the kingdom of christ is my savior and lord right now keep on standing as i pray with you father in jesus name we thank you because of the call because of the connection and because of the conversion that we have now lord i pray forgive everyone responding now forgive them their sins in jesus name take the punishment of sin away from them take the pollution of sin away from them break the power of sin out of their lives in jesus name grant them your salvation your forgiveness your freedom your redemption right now i pray lord you take their portion take their name out of the kingdom of darkness defilement and bring them into the kingdom of your dear son let the joy of salvation come up in every heart standing right now thank you lord for the answer in jesus name we pray amen raise up your hand you need a miracle and lay your hand where you have the problem. No problem shall abide and remain in your body, in your heart, in your home after the final amen tonight. And after the final amen, you check up yourself. A miracle already will be there. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the revelation that had been lost but now you have recovered you have revealed your secret unto us you have revealed the secret that sickness cancelled disease cancelled demonic power cancelled premature death cancelled and you have brought us up from the dungeon and prison of captivity and you have raised us up to sit in heavenly places with Christ, the Christ of all power. I pray the power of Christ will manifest in every life right now in Jesus' name. All the power of demons, evil spirits broken away from your life now. Disease cancelled right now in Jesus' name. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Dominion for everyone. Lord, I pray any sickness from the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Take everything out right now in Jesus' name. Madness, insanity, you are crushed and cancelled. Swelling, goiter, tumor, fibroid, hernia, elephantiasis, hunchback, be removed now in Jesus' name. Blindness, DMI sight, the Lord touch you now, kill you now in Jesus' name. Deafness, dumbness, you are healed now in Jesus' name. That issue of blood dry up right now in Jesus' name. Pal, be healed in Jesus' name. All that oppression in the night, evil powers pressing you down, 
tormenting your life, double crossing your way, I command that evil power, evil spirit, evil personality, come out in Jesus' name. And I pray for those who have stepped on poison, and since that time, the heat from the uh, bottom of your feet, everything is just, uh, you know, tormenting your life. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray for those who have a kidney problem, and they have lungs problem, and they have breathing problem. I pray, touch them right now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. Every kind of sickness, every form of infirmity be taken out of your life right now. And that Christ, the cornerstone of our salvation, of our healing, of our deliverance, of our dominion, strike every evil thing out of your life right now in Jesus' name. You're free. You are healed. You are delivered manifestation in your life right now performance in your life right now demonstration of divine power in your life now in jesus name it is now it is confirmed you are healed you are delivered Thank you, Lord, for the confirmation. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself now. You'll see that miracle, that healing, signs and wonders already there.